Okay, can everybody hear me? Can you hear me, Marky? Yes, I can, loud and okay. clear. Great. Well, good, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to one of LIBOR's webinars that we're bringing to our members, and thanks to our LIBOR leadership and CEO, Tessa Hultz. We have a very, very special guest with us today. We have Marky lemons Hall. Marky is a um, national realtor uh, speaker through the National Association of Realtors. She was selected out of uh, one of 100 speakers to present over uh, 500 speakers at the NAR convention. She is a managing broker, a realtor, an avid volunteer, a major donor, an international best-selling author of Modern Real Estate Professionals Guide to Success. We are privileged to have her with us today and uh, for our education conference somewhere down the road, Marky will be here live and in person. So without further delay, I bring you Marky Lemons Ryhall. How you doing today, LIBOR? I'm your girl, Marky Lemons Rao, real estate keynote speaker and international best-selling author. And I am elated to be with you today. We're going to have a discussion about being essential versus non-essential. And Marianne gave me all the rules and regulations for your state. I'm going to discuss 10, well, it'll be more than 10, 10 tips tactics and apps that you can use in your business today. But I promise you, once they open the gates and they unquarantine us, real estate will not be the same as the real estate we were practicing back in January or February. And so now is the time to get yourself ready for what the new world of real estate is going to look like. I'm an early adapter of social media and technology. I've been live streaming video for quite some time, but it isn't always about just live streaming your video content. We have to adhere to the rules and regulations in the state in which we are licensed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to discuss now, okay? And I'm going to pull in some tips and tactics that are from the past, but we should implement now. There isn't any better time than the present. So across the country, on the news, we are consistently hearing essential versus non-essential. I've heard that in your great state, they've toggled between the two. Well, guess what? I'm going to make the assumption that we all have a loved one we want to protect, that some of us are quarantined whether we have to be quarantined or not. I'm making the assumption that we are all considered non-essential. How do we do business today regardless to whether we are essential or non-essential. So I have now officially been self-quarantined since March the 13th for seven weeks. I have not left my house seven times. And the only time I have left my home is to go to the grocery store. I'm going to share with you the tips, the tools, and the equipment that I have in order to make this happen. But I don't want you to get frustrated. When you go to research some of the tools that I'm gonna tell you about, they aren't available right now. Logitech cameras are sold out. Headsets are sold out. And so some of the things I'm gonna share with you, you definitely need. But once you start typing it in, do not be surprised if they don't have it. I was doing a competition for my favorite camera. That is the Logitech camera. And Best Buy doesn't have any in stock. Amazon doesn't have any in stock. And Walmart doesn't have any in stock. So I want you to put this on your to-do list. And every week, I want you to check back to make sure that this equipment, whether or not it is available or not, available. These tools that I'm going to tell you about are going to work whether you're dealing with buyers or with sellers. So we're going to be non-essential and we work with buyers and sellers. How do we implement a new strategy in order to maintain and potentially garnish new market share in today's real estate market? 
the very first thing, it was kind of funny to me. I was talking to a fellow agent here in the Chicagoland area, and she said, Marky, I was talking to an agent today, and the agent told me they needed to go back to the office in order to fax me the disclosures. Let me tell you this. This was before COVID-19. It was not acceptable then. It is not acceptable now. The number one thing I want every agent to implement this year is either dot loop, DocuSign, or whatever tool your MLS or your local realtor association is offering you. There's never a reason today to ever have to go to the office to fax anyone not one sheet of paper. And so you want to think about the company you're with, what are the resources that they have. You want to think about not only the resources of your company, you want to think about the resources that your local association offers you. Are there some additional benefits from the MLS? Are there some additional benefits from your state association? Are there some additional benefits from the National Association of Realtors? So now is the time for you to rely on your member benefit, utilize them first, and then go to the organization that you work for. Everyone right now is offering some type of free class. What I want you to think about, write this down, Skillshare. Skillshare is offering free online courses for four months. Now, it might not be four months at this point because I signed up about a month ago. But if you're having any technology issues, go to Skillshare because they have made their curriculum available. And I'm going to do one thing while we're uh, talking. I saw it pop up. I am going to open up also uh, over here. Uh, I don't know if they allow you to do Q&A. I think they're going to do the Q&A for me. So maybe I'm doing just a little bit too much, which, which let me tell you this is normal for me. So we want to implement some type of online signature tool. Never should you ever have to go back to the office to ever get one piece of paperwork. So how do we work when we're considered non-essential? Video is number one. Now, we're going to have a real grown folks discussion here. I know that the average age of a realtor is 54 years of age and that we are a female-dominated industry. And I say this with great empathy because I will be 50 this year, so I understand all the struggles of the average age of a realtor. However, you have to do video. It is no longer acceptable for you not to do video and to not do video well, okay? Now, I don't know if you remember this back in the day, right? They used to say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, if a picture is worth a thousand words, one minute of video content is equivalent to 1.8 million words. Every time you do a buyer consultation or a seller's consultation, for every one minute you're talking, if you're leveraging video, you have provided 1.8 million words of value. What I want everyone to do right now is I want you to pull out your mobile device, okay? And when we pull out this mobile device, we want it to become our best friend, okay? I want you to touch it, and I want you to do more with this device than to simply text people. I want you to always think about this. When you ever do photos or videos of yourself, you want to elevate your device to at least eye level. See, I see so many of my fellow realtors, they're holding their device down. Let's be clear. There's nothing cute going on in the neck and the chin area, especially when the average age is 54, okay? I've looked at my own neck and chin area, and because we're quarantined, I've looked at thousands upon thousands of realtors' necks and chin areas, and it's not cute. So what I want you to do with your phone right now is take a picture, hold, hold it down, just take a regular picture of yourself, right? And then I want you to take your phone and elevate it to eye level and take a picture of yourself. You will see an 
instant change in how it looks. So people always ask me, well, how much video should we create? I believe as a real estate professional, you should create one minute of video content Monday through Friday. 60 little seconds of video content Monday through Friday. Why? Because video can increase purchase intent by 97%. Well, if that's not good enough, brands that use video marketing grow their revenue 49% faster than brands that don't. Video content changed my business. And if you go and follow me on the internet anywhere, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, heck, I'm even on Snapchat and TikTok, right? What you will see is I always create video content because it changed my life. But most times I don't have on makeup. Most times I'm just Marky, the same Marky you would see walking out our house to get in her car, or better yet, going out to the gate to pick up the newspaper, the sales paper that they leave at the front gate all the time. That's the marquee I want people to get to know because people feel comfortable stopping me and talking to me at all times. But here's the real reason to get comfortable with video. I don't teach theory. Everything that I tell you to do, I've done it and it's been successful. See, I'm clear, we don't have no time to waste, all right? And none of us really came into real estate to do video or social media and technology. We came into real estate to sell houses. So I have a private Facebook group, Real Estate Live. And last week with that group, I challenged them. I said, hey guys, we have a third party tool in our MLS called Cloud CMA. I want you to go to your personal Facebook page I want you to tell people you are available for them, that you're empathetic, and even tell them to give you a call. But in that post, ask them if they wanna know the true value of their home in today's real estate market. If so, click on the link. And I put in there a link to my Cloud CMA and all of the numbers are to the right-hand side, we see that they like, comment, and share. Now, let me be honest with you. I don't care about that, okay? What I really care about is how many people viewed it. That's the first thing that I care about. And I see that 633 people view my video where I just basically tell them, hey, I'm here for you. Let me know if you want to talk, click on the link. Down in the bottom left-hand side, there is a tool that I want you to implement in your business. It is called Bitly, B-I-T-L-Y.com, Bitly, B-I-T-L-Y.com. And I'm writing these down just so that I make sure I do a great recap for you. Bitly is a URL shortener and customizer. It lets me know how many people actually clicked on that link that I used over on Facebook. It lets me know if I was to put that link on, let's say LinkedIn, how many people came from LinkedIn. So at the bottom left-hand side, you will see that there was no interaction with that link because I hadn't shared it recently. However, on the day that I posted that video, I wrote my numbers down here, 58 people, 58 of the 660, three people who viewed the video actually clicked on the link. Well, that's good too. But what I really want to know is, did I generate a lead? What is a lead? Someone who gave me their first name, their last name, their email address, their home address, and the square footage of that property. Four people, look at the bottom right-hand side, four people within 24 hours, gave me that information. They're now in my customer relationship management system and I have referred them to an agent in my office. So the next thing that I want you to do 
is I know that Cloud CMA is a third party app available through your MLS, okay? See if they have a trial for Cloud CMA. I want you, your team members, if you're the broker of record, you should go back and tell all of your agents to go do a live video. Let the world know that, hey, in the good state of New York, we're considered a non-essential worker. However, I am at home and I'm here for you. If you have any real estate related questions, don't hesitate to call me. I don't want you to have to go through this by yourself. If you're like me and you were in the business before the real estate crash, in my video, I talk about 2008. I talk about the struggles and the problems and the anxiety that existed. And I put that in that video. So Cloud CMA is a tool that's available that I use consistently in order to generate leads. I don't have to leave my house. I don't have to endanger anyone. And it was all done, as you can take a look and see, from the comfort of my home office. So if you have any questions, type those in. I know that I have someone who's looking at the questions because I have no problems teaching you exactly how to do what I do, but I'm a lead generating fool and I don't ever have to leave my house in order to generate leads. There's also a tool that I want you to go download and that is going to be called InShot. I-N-S-H-O-T. It is a mobile App, okay, and I'm going to show you why you want to download it, but I want you, whether you're Android or Apple user, to go download that app. And I want you to use the free version. What I will tell you is I'm an advocate for freemium before you ever pay for premium. And so I'm always going to share with you how to do something at no cost. I love for us to generate leads without spending money. I like to see if it works first, and then if it works, of course, we can always go and spend some money, but I don't like just spending my money, okay? This is what I want you to think about also. The way to truly turn yourself into a non-essential worker is you must use live streaming video in some capacity. I don't care if it's this tool we're on today called Zoom. It could be Facebook Live. It could be Instagram Live. It could be YouTube Live. What you need is the ability for two people to see each other and interact in real time and for seller-assisted showings I need to guide my seller through the property. So I just came up with that term, a seller assisted showing. Imagine you have a bunch of listings, but you dare not take yourself over to that property and show it. If your seller is available, what I want you to do is schedule a streaming virtual tour or showing. That means that from the comfort of your office, right, you will stream live, let's say to Facebook, but you make sure that you preview the property first. So that entails two different streams. In the preview, you're walking through the property with the seller. They have their mobile device up. The same thing I told you how to hold your mobile device is what you're going to tell them. You say, hey, dear seller, let's call the seller Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, we are here for your preview. We're going to walk through the house. I want to make sure that everything is um, presented in the best light, okay? And you have that seller, and this is how this will look. Okay, seller, take me up to the master bedroom. Can you spin around for me? Oh, everything looks really great. I see how the lighting is coming in today. Okay, let's walk through the master bathroom. Oh, I see you changed out the artwork in there. So I'm going to preview the house first. We conclude that call or end it. I call that person back or I stream back and invite them in, whether it is that Instagram or YouTube or Facebook. And then we put the show on, okay? And because I've already previewed it, I know that it's clean, okay? I know that no one left their underwear in the middle of the floor, okay? I know that 
they put the dog in the cage and the dog isn't, well, let me say this. If the dog is an obedient dog, the dog can be a part of the tour, right? And so we now stream that live to the public. So you want to think about what platform do you want to leverage live streaming in? Because I would never want my seller to do its own tour. I want to be a part of that tour because I want all links and communication to come back to me. I interviewed a young lady. She's a real estate investor. She's doing all of her own tours. Well, if she doesn't have an exclusive right to sell agreement, then she doesn't need me. You never eliminate yourself from the equation, ever. Now, there are some additional tools that you can use or you can even send for your higher end properties. Think about developing a showing care package, right? And you assemble this box that you can uh, actually ship to each of your homeowners, contingent upon the price point. Or maybe you have three boxes and people have to share the box and send it to the next location. In that box, I want you to think about it, and I'm going to hold mine's up. You buy these based on your device. So this is not one size fits all. This right here is a Insta360 camera. I love it. It's the best thing that I purchased for myself last year. An Insta360 camera is going to do 360 degrees. So when the buyer can't physically touch the property, they get to see from the comfort of their home the floor and they get to swipe. So we don't guide their eyes they guide their eyes. They can see the floor, the walls, the ceiling, okay? They can see the paperwork on the desk, so be very careful when you are in your office using the Insta360 camera, but it's gonna cover everything in that home. Now, let me tell you what's kind of funny about this device. It took me a month to buy the device because I knew that this plugged in to the phone jack on my phone. So what I'm thinking is, well, how is that going to work, right? You know, like it's not going to hold. Well, guess what? When you download the app to your phone, so this is how the phone is regular, what happens is it still is going to work correctly, but the camera, you hold your phone upside down to use the app correctly, okay? So you think about an Insta360, and you definitely want your home inspectors to have it. And then I would also think about getting a drone. And they have many drones, like some that you can hold in the palm of your hand. If not, in order to get this deal to close, and, and the fact that the buyer should not be at the seller's property, then you also want your home inspector, your preferred home inspectors to have a drone. So we want to start thinking about what platform we're going to live stream to. We want to think about implementing or getting ourselves a 360 camera. And we want to think about a drone. That means we can cover everything. We can see essentially 360 degrees of everything pertaining to the property. Now, people would still need to write an offer subject to seeing the property because most people at least want to see it once before they sign on the dotted line. I want to, I know that I have some assistance here. Is it possible to open up for any questions people might have uh, for it yet? Okay, so Marky, please clarify what exactly InShot app to use there are a few of them. Oh, no, no. So, um, Novica, InShot app is only one, and you use the one that's compatible with your device. And so, if you are an Apple user, you use, you download the Apple. If you are an Android user, you download the Google. So, it's one tool, but it's contingent upon your device. Do I have any uh, other questions so far? Please feel free to ask me any questions before we move on. No more questions? I have a chat over here, but I don't know if everybody has access to the chat. Okay. I'm seeing more over here. Oh, I'm seeing it. Never mind. I, I, I see it now. Um, everything, answer, follow up. What is the app and shot for? I'm going to tell you what it's for. We haven't got there yet. Uh, how do I set Bitly on Facebook? So Bitly is a URL shortener and customizer. So 
in Cloud CMA, you have a dedicated page with its own URL, but it's a very long, ugly URL. And it says something like Cloud uh, CMA.com forward slash blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, you know what? Let me minimize this. And let me bring myself right on back over here so I can show you what that looks like, okay? So that's not a problem. So we're going to come back over here. One second. Let's see here. So, oh, you can't see it. So Cloud CMA takes this long, ugly URL. It says Cloud CMA, blah, blah, blah. What ends up happening is my bit.ly link actually says, what is your home worth in Chicago? So I took that long, ugly URL, I shortened it, I customized it. But you know what? Let me see. I'm going to try my luck today. I am going to stop the share. And what we're going to do is I'm going to come back right now and I'm actually going to share my screen and not just the PowerPoint, okay? So what I am trying to do here, let's see if this will work. I am, do, 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 escape. Okay, here we go. Let me go show you directly what it looks like. So if you come over to Bitly, I'm gonna type in the word worth because it's part of the link. <clears throat> so what I showed you in the PowerPoint was this link, okay? I took the Cloud CMA, the long, ugly URL. At the very top, it says cloudcma.com forward slash app. You see that's very ugly, right? I shortened it and I customized it to what is my home worth in Chicago because I wanted to tailor that link to the people that I'm trying to attract. Well, as we scroll down on this information, it lets me know that 237 people over time have actually clicked on that link directly from Facebook, okay? It lets me know that uh, 58 of the people from, were from inside of the US, okay? It should actually be more that came from inside of the US. So it's breaking down the data of who actually clicked on that link. So what I do is I often take long, ugly URLs, I shorten them, I customize them, and then what would happen is right here where it says copy, I would copy that link, and when I was going to do my Facebook Live video, you paste it into the section where you talk about what the post is about. So Bitly is a URL shortener and customizer, and you can then take this link and put it anywhere on the internet. So if we come back and I look at these blue bars, I'll see that on Friday, the day I posted the video, 28 people clicked on it. The following day, 24 people clicked on it. The day after that, three people clicked on it. And then we have one, one, and one, okay? And that was from the video that I created that I generated the four leads from. I'm gonna come back and see what other questions we potentially have, only due to the fact that now that I have the browser open, you might have some more uh, questions. Both of my listings are vacant. I did my video, but the buyer still won't go in. So what I would say do, come back and reposition your video to the public. I do never lead my videos with the property, never. I always tell a story about the community and I tend to interview lenders where I let the lender tell me about their amazing products. So think about this for a second as members. There's a lot of speculation in the market right now about loans, who can get loans, what's the new loan process while we're being quarantined. Pick your top three get it done lenders. Every week for the next three weeks, invite them to do a live stream telling us about how to get financed today. And I want them to tell the truth. I want, I want people to know exactly what's going on and where the delays are. And then once they provide all that value, you as a realtor state, hey guys, I happen to have 123 Main Street that will qualify. How do I set up a virtual showing for 
you. So there are some ways, uh, Bitly is free. I So I want you to use the free version of Bitly, okay? Bitly is free. I want you to use the free version. There are apps to make the iPhone a webcam. Uh, I don't, so let me ask you this question. Why do you need a app to make your phone a webcam when you can stream live directly or you can pre-record a video and load it. So I, I guess I'm not understanding uh, the question. It does it, it just might not use the tools that you think you need to accomplish the goal. Mark, yeah, I just completed my ePro certification. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Let me see if there are any more questions. And at the end, MLS provides each agent a free account in Instanet. I don't know what Instanet is. Um, because I'm not a member of your MLS, okay? We have dot loop and I love it. Glad to hear that Insta works. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the presentation and let me say this. You are free, because I'm wordy, just so you know. You are free to leave at one, but I can stay around and answer questions for you. So I'm not in a rush. I don't have to run off and go anywhere just so that you will uh, know. You can stay around and ask me questions. So what had happened was, I told you that you should use the app InShot, but I had actually skipped, skipped the slide, so I'm glad I went back. Here's why. I want everybody, once again, to hold their device up. And I'm telling you to do these things because the more you do it, the more comfortable you will, will become with doing it. So today, when we hold our mobile device, uh, if we were to post content, it would be considered a story. A story is vertical content. That means that in today's world, stories, holding your phone vertical, is the fastest growing form of content in the history of the internet. Because we're all holding our devices this way, right? And I'm the person, I have it set up that my phone won't just instantly reverse, okay? Because I hate every time you move your phone, it'll turn from vertical to horizontal. So I have it on vertical freeze, okay? Well, when we start thinking about vertical content and stories, stories disappear every 24 hours. So it's forcing us to add content to Instagram, to Facebook, to Snapchat, and really almost like TikTok, all of those are vertical platforms, right? Everything you really see that's very popular is going to be vertical. And so what I want you to start thinking about, because a lot of times we have a lot of old horizontal landscape content. With InShot, I can take all that old horizontal landscape YouTube videos, and with the InShot app, I can actually slide that horizontal video into a vertical video frame and it will not alter the quality or the visual aspects of the video. That means then I have landscape at the top and the bottom that I can write a call to action and you always wanna add a call to action. I'd say add one visually and verbally. A call to action is you telling someone what to do call me, text me, inbox me, click on the link. You have to add one. You would be amazed how your engagement increases when you tell people what to do. So the app InShot allows me to take this horizontal landscape and put it inside of a vertical frame. And guess what? It also lets me take this vertical video and slide it into a horizontal frame. So you can take any dimension, video, or photo, and put it inside of a different frame with that app InShot, and you can do so for free. So I love, actually, InShot is uh, one of my favorite apps as well, which is InShot. And on the left-hand side, it says either download Apple Store or download Google Play. That's contingent upon your operating device. But while we're talking about apps, I need you to make sure that when you're on your mobile device, that you are utilizing the app version of the tool, because I do know that a lot of you go to your device, you open your browser, and you treat 
the browser on the phone like you would at home if you were accessing it? No. So there are a lot of you who don't have the Facebook app on your phone, but you access Facebook via facebook.com in the web browser. Uh, let me say this. That's not the right way to do it. Okay. So for every tool that you use, there should be a app. That means you have to go to Apple Store or to Google Play and download the app. We do not go to our browser when we're on the go from our mobile device to access these different tools. So equipment on the go. This is what I want you to do. At the top left-hand side, before we create any video content, especially live streaming, I want you to test your internet speed. There is a tool called speedtest.net, speedtest.net. Or you can go to your browser and you can type in upload internet speed. So today, what does this mean, right? So today, I did not use speedtest.net. I went to Google. I have it saved upload internet speed. When you're looking at your internet speed, especially if you're the person conducting live streaming video, you want to have at least 10 megabytes per second upload speed, okay? Your download speed is how information is transmitted back down to you. What you wanna make sure is you have at least 10 megabytes per second of good upload speed. So you go, you do the Google search, upload internet speed. You will see internet speed test. I did this this morning. I run the speed test. And what it does on the right-hand side is it tells me what my rate is, right? So I have a 92.5 upload speed, 16.7 download speed, which means your internet speed is very fast. If you are meeting with your clients from home, I do not want you to use your Wi-Fi. What I want you to use is I want you, and I'm going to come back, I actually want you to hardwire into your computer. So this is an Ethernet to USB connector. So right now from home, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I have this blue wire that is connected to my computer. I am not utilizing the Wi-Fi in my house for you because I want the best upload download speed. Earlier, I told you to do something and that was to elevate your phone. So when we start thinking about creating this content and we're going to do live streaming video but we don't like how we look right one of my favorite quotes and this is a marky lemons quote okay i am the shortest darkest roundest person in the room with the least amount of hair yet i create video content every single day because people do not care about how i look they care if I can solve their buying and selling problems. So I'm always going to be armed with this device. Now, remember I said it should always be at or above eye level. Well, the next thing, I'm going to need you guys to start wiping off your lens. Here's the problem. If you sweat, if you wear makeup, if you've touched your phone, your camera lens is dirty. That means that your video and photo quality is going to look a little foggy and you don't have to look that way. So I buy these things by the cases. I just need you to know. And I get them from Costco, put them on your Costco run. They're over by the pharmacy where, you know, they have all the vitamins and the herbs uh, in the eyeglass cleaning solution section is where they are. Well, we're going to make sure because we're going to, I'm a, you know what, I'm going to give you all a little contest to win $25 Amazon gift card in the next 24 hours. But I'm going to tell you what we got to do first. So some of you received lens wipes, right, from one of those realtor events you attended. 
We want to hold our device at or above eye level. We want to always clean our lens off. The next thing you want to do is if I hold this phone over, you might be able to see it's a ring here. That's because I have a light behind my device. If people can't see you, if you don't look the same way in your camera as I'm looking to you, likelihood is you have some light coming in on you. Either you're real, real dark, that means that I need you to position yourself that there's some light behind your computer or your device. So always make sure that the light is behind the device. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to do this as a competition, okay? I want you to go to Instagram, and I want you to follow your Realtor Association. That is going to be L-I Realtors, okay? So you're going to go. You're going to follow your Realtor Association. I'd also encourage you to follow me. I'm Marky Lemons, M-A-R-K-I-L-E-M-O-N-S. This is what you're going to do. You're going to elevate your phone to at least eye level. You're going to make sure that the light is behind your device. You're going to look directly into the lens, the way I'm looking at you. Now, let me, let me give you a demonstration here. If you're looking at your phone, and I'm going to hold my phone right here so you can see. If I'm looking in the phone and I can see myself, right, and I can check my hair out and check my eyebrows and look at my lipstick, I'm looking at the wrong place. You're looking at the right place when it feels awkward because you cannot see yourself. So I'm going to go look at my lens now. That's me looking at my lens, okay? This is me looking at myself. You don't want to look at yourself. If you can see yourself and you're taking a photo or a video, you're looking in the wrong place. So I'm going to elevate my eyes again, and I'm going to snap a picture. What I want you to do is elevate your phone, clean your lens, make sure that the light is behind your device, look directly into the camera lens, just like I'm doing you right now. Snap a picture, go to Instagram and post it. And I want you to use the hashtag Lie Realtors, L-I-R-E-A-L-T-O-R-S. I am going to come over to Instagram in exactly four hours. And the person with the biggest smile, I am going to send you a $25 Amazon gift card via email and announce it back to your association. Because at least I know that you learned one thing today. And tell us something you learned today. Your association is going through great lengths to bring you education and they have pivoted. I want you to pivot the same way the association has pivoted. And there are some simple things we can do. You don't ever have to leave your home. So I'll recap that at the end, because I want, guess what? I want a selection of people to decide who I'm going to send this Amazon gift card to today. So these lens, now the ones that I have there, these are Amazon, but these are my actual favorite lenses right here from Costco. So I buy them, uh, buy, they come in packages of three. Let me actually show that to you, just so you can see how many lenses I keep, right? They come in threes. I actually have two more of these over here. So I am heavily vested in keeping my devices clean, but every time I come to an association, I bring at least one box with me to give out as a gift. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna charge a battery. So Terry Watson, who is my BFF, right? He born and raised on the south side of Chicago like I. He um, bought me this anchor charger. He actually bought me this anchor charger for my backpack and he bought me a smaller one <laughs> for my purse. You can't do nothing if your device isn't charged. And what's funny is because I go to so many realtor events, every time I show up at an event, you will look around at the base of the floor and notice that every single electrical outlet has a realtor device plugged into it. I'm not fighting with you guys to get to the electrical outlet 
because I'm making sure my devices are charged and that I have enough backup battery to last me for one week. Wi-Fi works best, but remember, I'm connected to my ethernet directly from that connector I showed you that I'm gonna show you again. So if you can't access the, well, first of all, if you're home, do not use your Wi-Fi. You want to plug in directly to your computer, but you must have an adapter, okay? Because the ethernet cord, let me say this, if the ethernet cord can, can fit your computer, your computer is entirely too old, okay? Unless it's a brand new desktop, which the ethernet cord can go directly into the back of it. But these laptops, they don't have ethernet ports to them. They only have USB. So you wanna get you that USB to ethernet port. If not, get you a 4G or a hotspot to always have with you. If I have power, and internet, I can do my job. There's nothing in my job I cannot do as long as I have power and internet. Keep that in mind. If, if you need more than that, you let me say this, it's another way to do your job, okay? A lot of people think that the camera's the most important thing. It is not. Audio is the most important thing. Every time I create a video, I download that video, and I do what is called video to audio transcription. It essentially strips the video and renders only an audio, which is considered an MP3. I take all of my videos and they're turned into a podcast. My podcast is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, SoundCloud. If you want, you can go subscribe to Social Selling Made Simple. So I don't care about visually how I look, I really care about the audio, because I then also take that audio and it's turned into a pod, uh, it's turned into a blog post and an email. So from one video, I have a podcast that's syndicated. I post a weekly blog post. I send out a weekly email. It all came from that one video. But I actually take one video and I create 20 different pieces of content. So you want audio is number one. Followed by that audio, you do want to check your light. You always want the light to be behind the device. And when I'm on the go, at home I have a big ring light. It's probably two feet, it's about two feet in diameter. But when I'm traveling, I travel with this ring light. I love this ring light. This ring light just clips to your device. So. Imagine I'm on the go, I wanna get, I need better lighting, right? I turn my ring light on, it has three settings. This is my favorite because you charge it via USB uh, port and you don't have to buy additional batteries. I slide it on and that's how I would take my picture. Now look at me, I'm looking directly at the camera, okay? So you wanna make sure that you do have decent lighting and you want to get you a selfie stick all right, or, or something like a selfie stick because you want to stabilize, you could get a gimbal, you want to stabilize your phone. But this is what I love about what I'm showing you. One, it's very flexible, it's extremely durable and sturdy. However, when I'm at home and today at 445, I'll be over on Instagram, it becomes a table mount tripod, okay? And this way means I'm holding it horizontal when I turn it this way, I can hold my device vertical and I can slide it down. So then my device will be directly at my eyes. So at minimum, this is the equipment that you need, but your association did something for you. Your association, if you go over to your realtor association forward slash COVID, they have the PDF for today's presentation and they have the link to my Amazon store where I have all of the equipment. Keep in mind, it's not all available because a lot of the equipment has sold out. I wanna know what questions do we have before we go into the equipment you need from home, okay? So we've covered what we need for the car, for our backpack. And I am, uh, those of you who have met me, you know for a fact that I carry a backpack with me at all times. All of the equipment that I showed you I keep it in my backpack. So I'm gonna check out our chat. I see some Q&A going on here. 
So how do we do live stream? How do we do live stream? Well, this would be a live stream right here. I'm gonna actually go over to my favorite platform, which is Facebook. So imagine you're over on Facebook and I'm on my page. I don't know if you could see this cause I'm not seeing the mirror of my screen, but there's a button right under what's on your mind that says live, okay? So I could hit that live button and if I don't like how I'm looking that day, I could actually put a filter on my face. So Facebook Live, Instagram Live, YouTube Live, all of that is live streaming. From your home, you can stream live from your computer. From Zoom, you can stream live directly into Facebook and to YouTube. Those would be some of your different uh, places that you could stream live. Name the 360 camera for the iPhone. So Linda, the 360 camera for the iPhone is also the Insta360. The difference is Insta360 makes a lot of 360 cameras. You have to go to the website insta360.com and you must type in your device and it will tell you which camera fits your device because the Insta360 camera is based on its port. So the port must fit your device. This is a C port. And so I'm an Android girl user. Will this webinar be available for download so I can teach all my agents as <laughs> I'm the broker? Guess what, Sanford? I'm almost, I don't know if it's available for download. I know that it is going to be uploaded directly to your Realtor Association website. So guess what you could do? You could actually do a watch party to the website because there are gonna be additional resources there. How do we change the URL name again? Susan, the way that you would change the URL name. Let's say I have markylemons.com. I would copy markylemons.com. I go over to Bitly. I then hit, I think uh, it might say, you know what, we'll do an example. That's how I'm gonna answer that question. So these are 11 open questions. I think that I answered those. So I'm gonna come out of the question section. We're gonna hit uh, escape again. Let's go to new share. Hold on one second, stop sharing. I am going to take you over here. So let's assume this is the bit.ly website and I'm going to start just all over from scratch okay I come to bit.ly I am going to come and just type in the word real estate here uh, real estate t-shirts I've been working on a new project let's do real estate t-shirts okay I am going to just scroll down for a second uh, this is Etsy so let's say I click on this link for the Etsy website so at the top, you see it says etsy.com forward slash market forward slash real estate t-shirts. I'm gonna come and copy that link. I come over to Bitly where it says create. I am going to paste that Etsy link into that, that place, right? Into that location. Now it says customize back half. The link is shortened it to was Etsy uh, dot me two V U what is that R O six M but I don't like that because I wanted to be about real estate. I am going to hit re R E R E twenty twenty U because I want to make sure I make it something I don't want to use again and I hit save. So now instead of using Etsy.com forward slash market forward slash real estate underscore T underscore shirts, right? I can actually post uh, Etsy.me RE 2020U. And if anyone clicks on it, I then have the ability to come back like to this video and I get to see how people have engaged with that link. That is how you would utilize Bitly, B I T ly.com it is free inshot.com it is free equipment list is already over on the website and waiting for you okay so want to come back uh to the equipment and just let me know can you all see this equipment list let me escape real quick let me come back over here just want to make sure screen share okay here we go 
let's come back. Did you all see that last part? I got to make sure. I hope you did. Because I didn't see the screen share. Now I'm talking to myself. So equipment from your home. And I'm seeing the Q&A, so I'm going to open the Q&A because I don't know if you saw that last part. How do we change? We got the URL. Did I have any more questions? Those are answered, dismissed, open. I wanted to make sure. Oh, I see one more question down here, but I'm not able to see it. Uh, let me scroll down real quick. Make sure we got that. I don't see your screen. I didn't think you did. Hold on one second. Let me come back for you. So do not go stop. Let's see here. Uh, escape. Someone is talking. Okay, you should be able to see it now. Okay, so let me demonstrate this again. I opened up bit.ly.com. I came over to the Etsy website because I want to take that URL at the top that's in blue. You actually copy that link. You come back over to Bitly, where you see the word create, you open it, and then you paste that long URL. Now, I had just did this, right? So to demonstrate this, at the very top, it says created May the 1st. I don't know why that's saying 4.45 p.m. because it's not 4.45 p.m. It might have my time zone off. It has uh, etsy.com forward slash market, you see that I took that and in red, I shortened it. So now what can happen is once I copy and start sharing that link, I'm gonna come down to a previous one, I can measure when people actually click on a link, what country they're, uh, they're clicking from and then what platform. So I love Bitly because it, it does everything that I need it to do, okay? So we talked about what you need on the go, right? But everything that I need on the go, I could still use in my house if I needed to. But let me show you my home equipment list. So I have a backpack. I'm actually going to slide over here and get it. All of my tools are in this bag at all times. I stop carrying a purse, okay? I do carry a cross body bag all the time. So I carry a cross body bag and a backpack all the time. But mind you, I travel extensively. I travel about uh, 100 cities a year. And so this has just become what I carry all the time. One, my cross body bag for safety purposes, okay? And then the backpack, because I have all of this equipment and different stuff in the backpack, it just makes my job a lot easier. So what's the equipment I have in my home office? Now, the reason for having a home office is because I want everything to be stationary. I never want there to be any excuse for me to do my job. So I keep everything here stationary. The first thing I talked about, and I showed you this before, I do not use the Wi-Fi from my work computer. I actually am wired in directly to the source of my internet. I'm in directly hardwired into the modem. It has the ethernet cord, and this is the adapter that's plugged into my computer. I do have a Yeti mic at home. I don't use it a lot, but I have a Yeti mic at home. The reason I don't use my best mic is because you can probably tell I'm kind of animated and I move a lot. And that means that my audio would cut in and out. So my favorite tool is what I have on, which is a Sennheiser, over the head mic, okay? So I can hear you and I can talk to you. And I use this a couple of times a day. This is my preferred tool to use. If there's one investment, just one, that you should make, it should be the Logitech camera. Here's what I want you to think about. And I want you to do this right now. If you're at home and you're on your computer, I want you to find a box or some old encyclopedias, and I want you to elevate your computer if you use the camera on your computer, right? So the very first thing is your computer should not sit flat on your desk. I can tell you right now, that's not where it's supposed to be. You would want to elevate your computer to be at at least eye level. Just elevating your computer is going to change how you look. But if you want to change how you look drastically and you want to change the audio quality of your 
output. Get the Logitech camera. They're sold out. If you can find one, I'm look, great job. However, you want, if it's nothing else you implement from your home office because you're viewed as non-essential, get this camera. It is the greatest improvement for the least amount of money. The Logitech, and you don't need the 4K, okay? So you want to get the Logitech camera, it's on my list. And I'm thinking about getting the 4K, but this is what you're seeing me through. You're listening to the audio from the Sennheiser, but you're looking at me via this camera. I also have a ring light. It's over here. So just kind of, you can see the light, the source of the light, right? Um, I used to have it elevated on a tripod. It was taking up too much space in my office. So now it is mounted to my table. I do have tripods the tripod that I took the light off of. So if you're not gonna mount it to a table, maybe your surface is glass, right? I would not mount my light to a glass table. Then what you wanna make sure that you do is you wanna purchase tripods. I use a lot of things from Amazon. I don't use the most expensive of what's on Amazon, but I use what I consider to be the best value. What questions do you have? Let me check the time here. Yeah, I, I talked over the time. Let me apologize, okay? Um, I, sometimes I get a little excited and I talk too much. I want to know what questions do you have? So the Q&A is coming back. I don't see the screen. Will you share the equipment list? So I think your name is pronounced Sean. I did come back. I realized I wasn't recording the screen. So I hope that everybody saw that second example. Um, can I see the screen? Can I see the screen? I think everybody got it. Uh, will you share the equipment list with us? Yes. If you go to, I think, uh, if you go to your Realtor Association website, uh, forward slash COVID, it is on the COVID-19 page. We have put the link to my equipment, but I want to forewarn you, some of the equipment is sold out, okay? But it's just sold out everywhere, especially this great Logitech camera. It's the best value uh, for its dollar. What Apple website do you use to edit your videos? Ah, great question, Emma. Guess what? I do very little editing, which is why I also love live streaming video because I'm not a video editor. However, if you are Apple, use iMovie. Do not invest in any additional editing equipment. If you are not Apple and operate off of HP, use Movie Maker. We are talking about trimming, you know, the beginning, trimming the end, taking out some us and ahs, adding transition, all of that is available. So Apple users, Movie Maker, non-Apple users, uh-uh, Apple users, iMovie, non-Apple user, HP Movie Maker. I went to the Insta360 and I don't see how to check which camera is right for my phone. Okay, so let me go over there for you. Uh, we'll go over to the Insta360 to see. When at home, do you use your computer or your phone to go live? When I'm at home, I use both. So right now I'm on my computer. However, I'm going to do some stories and an Instagram live at 4.45 p.m. What will happen at that time, I will take my phone and I will take my table mount tripod. So I toggle between the two contingent upon what it is that I'm doing. However, normally if I'm doing stories, if your association has these pop sockets, make sure you get you one. I'm gonna just do this, okay? Uh, do, do, do. How do you load videos to Facebook Live? Facebook Live is live video content only. You do not load a video to Facebook Live. You create the video in real time. So I'm gonna actually come and demonstrate that for you. So we're gonna do uh, two demos for you right now. So let's see here, escape. Let's go over to the internet. So the first one is we're going to go to the insta360.com website. And let's see here. Support, store, come over to store. And then uh, you, it has all these cameras here. So let's see here. Uh, 
uh, shop, check care, accessories, camera. Okay, so we go to cameras. And what was that chart there? Okay, so now I don't see it's being that dang on intuitive where, oh, I could have swore I just saw like a little chart. Buy one, let's see, buy one, student discount, buy one, hold on. Insta360, nope, don't want none of those. Uh, let's see if we were to go by now, what would it say? Their website is not the most intuitive, is it? Hmm. Well, I don't need Insta360 care because I haven't picked out a camera yet. Okay, so we don't, let me tell you what you don't want. You do not want professional. So I want to come and look at consumer devices, and I am not saying what I'm looking for. Okay, so we have this Insta360 Go, standard care, make yours personalized, add to cart, Oh, editing, flow, slow. Oh, that's cute. I need this. So I am not seeing. I will have to do some more research because I'm not seeing that you can buy it the way that I bought mine. So I will do some research and I will send your association back the link that you would use to uh, go directly to buy your camera. And I'm only gonna do it for two. I'm gonna do it for an Apple device and I'm going to do it for an Android. Oh, here we go. You know what they make you do? Click on every freaking camera. So if we looked at this one, um, this camera is available for the iOS iPhone compatibility and for uh, the Android uh, devices. And it tells you which ones it's available for, but that means then you have to go through every last one of these cameras to see what its compatibility is instead of just going in and typing in your actual device. So that would be the Insta360 answer. The Facebook Live answer. You do not preload video to any live. Live is done, is recorded as you're doing it, okay? So uh, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have a few uhs and things of that nature. I'm not going to be able to go live because my camera is already occupied by you to do this event. But how do you do one? So I'm opening up Facebook right now. From This is from your computer. You would do it different from your mobile device. And directly above the write something now, it says live video. What's uh, going on today is that Facebook, in the last couple of weeks since we've been quarantined, they've developed the Facebook Live producer. So it now has its own page. So whether you were doing it from your business page, whether you were doing it from a group, whether you were doing it from your personal page, you would come into this one interface and on the left-hand side, you would make a decision between if you're gonna share to a group, your timeline, or to a page that you manage. But live video content is not pre-recorded. It is recorded as you do it. Guys, I'm gonna come back over here just to check to see if we have any additional questions. Let's see here. Make sure two things. One, the PDF, all resources are on your Realtor Association's COVID page. That would be first. If you want the opportunity to win a $25 Amazon gift card before the close of business today. You are going to go over to Instagram, follow your association's Instagram account, follow me at Marky Lemons. Your association's Instagram account is L-I-R-E-A-L-T-O-R-S. So it's L-I Realtors over on Instagram. You're gonna elevate your phone. Make sure the light is behind it. You're gonna look directly into the camera. You're gonna give us a big fat cheese and you're gonna use the hashtag LI Realtors on that post. And I'm gonna look at everybody who followed me, everyone who's following the association. I'm gonna look at everything. And before the close of business, to whoever I think gave me the best smile took action, I'm going to award your card publicly over on Facebook. And if you're not on Facebook, then we will make sure you get that, okay? I just need the person's email address. Um, which, which Togi tech camera model do you use? I don't 
uh, I don't use a togi. Oh, which Logitech, the 922. So I use a Logitech 922 camera. I do want to upgrade to the 4K. But let me say this. If you get, no, you can get it. Most times if you get a 4K camera, you have to also get a adapter for your computer to process that 4K coming in. So it might not be as advantageous, but I have the Logitech uh, 922. How do you load your videos to Facebook? I'm not seeing any additional questions. So I want to thank you, one, for, for what, look, so many of you came over here today um, to spend time with me. I don't know if you have any additional questions, but I truly 100% appreciate you. I'm just going to check the questions one more time to see if we have any. We don't have any. Oh, wait a minute. I'm coming over here to the chat. Just give me one second. It start lighting up. I think somebody prioritized them. Great session. Thank you. I'm not that confident just yet. Well, guess what? Practice. We're quarantined, now is the time to practice. Stop getting ready to get ready to do video. Because here's what's very, very important. When you decide to do this buyer consultation, right, they're gonna see you. When you decide to implement the listing consultation, they're gonna see you. Whenever they meet you face to face, you want to be the person who they think that you are and video is the number one way to do that. Thank you very much, LIBOR. Love you. Look forward to meeting every last one of you face-to-face -face in the future, regardless to the fact that they've classified you as non-essential. You are essential. And if you implement some of these strategies and tools in your business, it will be business as usual, whether you ever step foot on the property. I want you guys to have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon.